if this is your first time here, I would love for you to subscribe because this channel is all about creativity and inspiration. I hope you feel inspired to create something amazing. Feel free to share the inspiration because life is a journey we make together. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the kisses. And now I will show you how this unique quilt was made. I love to create quilts. I love to design them. I love to make them. I love the fabric. And sometimes I need a little inspiration. So I go to my favorite place, Pinterest, for that inspiration. I really like to design my own patterns. And the first thing that I do is go to um, the pins that I really um, are drawn to. So I kind of look through there and I start to see a pattern of what I really like. So these are the fabrics that I want to use. And I'm just in the process of trying to figure out what would be best. And in this case, it seems like I keep coming back to this big block pattern. So like most of the patterns that I find, they're not quite the right size. And in this case, this big block pattern, the finished size is 53 by 81. And I want it. So the first thing I did was I just made a copy of it on my printer. And I actually just cut and paste and made a repeating pattern that I can actually work with. I want to do this design in 6 inch and 12 inch blocks. I want this to be 6 inch, 6 inch, 12 inch, and I want the whole thing to be queen. So how I figured this up is you have a cut and then you have your final size. So on my strips, I'm gonna cut six inches and my final width is gonna be five and a half with the seam allowance. So I can figure up how big my little strips are gonna be in here, which are gonna be, the finished is three quarters and added up every single block size and came up with 85 and three quarters for the width. Did the same thing for the length and came up with 91, which is just the right size. An average queen size quilt is somewhere in the neighborhood of 86 to 90 inches wide and 90 to 92 inches long. So this is the pattern that I've chosen to use. I have my little handy helper here. So at this point, I've figured out my pattern that I'm gonna do. I've figured out how many 12 by 12 blocks or six by 12 blocks that I'm gonna do of each of my fabrics. And I've cut out all my blocks, either 12 inch by 12 inch or six by 12. And now I need to do the sashing so that I can sew them together. So I'm making one and a half inch sashing. So when doing sashing is all you need to do is make sure that you know what side is up, the finished side, keep it flat so that you can add on to it. So I'm going to lay my new piece right on top. I am going to sew on an angle. So when it opens up, your sashing will just continue. So I just take this to the machine. I like to have my standard foot in and I like to drop my needle. tails off and continue on. I 
kind of like to roll it up while I'm working with it so it's not all over. So following along with my pattern, I've sewed my sashing in between these two pieces and I've sewed a top piece with my sashing on the top. Now I'm going to square this up by using the lines of my acrylic ruler. Now I'm ready to add my very top piece in this quilt. This top piece goes the entire width of these two pieces. Now with this piece I'm going to have to square it up again so I can actually move it around to anywhere that I want to place it on top. This is my top corner piece. I think I like it right there. That would be nice too. We've got this piece here so I don't want to do a lot of duplicate. I think that's nice. I like to use my quarter inch foot so I'm going to turn it over and I am going to iron my seams in that they're facing in to each other. Then I'm going to turn it over, press it again, and then square it up by cutting my edges off. But I really like this one inch sashing. That's with a quarter of an inch on each side, so it was cut one and a half. And I think it just gives it a nice border. Now this time when I squared up, I like to use one of my lines on my seam. Then I can square up with my cutting mat to make sure that it's all squared up. Flip it over and do the same thing on the bottom. And after you've pulled all your pieces and put them in order, you can also just pull them apart. And now I'm going to sew my sashing on this side. Now a tip when you're doing a constant run like this, make sure that your piece that you're adding on the bottom doesn't get tied up on your pressure plate because it often does. So just make sure that it's right where it needs to be before you continue. Now when joining your pieces together, I've got the sashing in here. I put the sashing on the bottom. Now I'm joining the pieces together. I match the corners up, the sides up, then I put the pen in. Same on this side, put the pen in. Kind of ease in the middle. If there's anything that needs to be just a little bit eased in. So I want to share a tip with you that has really, really worked well for me over the years of making a variety of quilts. And that's how when you sew a long piece on, like I'm about to sew this last column on, how the seams are going to match. When I unfold it, bam, it's right there. Now how I like to do this is I like to pin 
one end probably, I don't know, 10 to 12 inches. And I'm gonna sew just that far. Then I'm gonna go to the other end, pin it another 10 to 12 inches. So that, but that way when it opens up, both of my ends are gonna match. And I really like this way. That way there's just no doubt. So my two ends are done. Now, if you need to ease anything in, this is the time to do it. And you can always tell because it's not gonna be real flush, so I'm gonna have to work on this just a little bit. So, it's gonna kinda go back and forth. Today I'm in my sewing room working on my cactus quilt and I gotta say I really am liking this pattern. It's a modified big block pattern. It was really straightforward. It was pretty simple. It didn't take a lot of time. I love these big blocks. They're 12 by 12 or 6 by 12 and you just have to make you know some kind of a pattern that uh, not too many heavies in one area, lights in the other. It just kind of needs to be balanced out. Um, it's just, just turning out super cute. So I just picked up the quilt from Cosmic Quilting. Turned out just great. I just love this large meandering pattern. It doesn't take away or compete with the fabric. And... Uh, I think it just turned out great.